Hello Fix fans, welcome back to The Shed. We've got a real quick fix for you today, but before we get into that, I'd just like to make a quick plea, subscribe, hit that notification icon. Subscribing really helps the channel and uh, the notification icon being on means you'll never miss a fix that we've got going on. So what have we got happening today? Well, we've got a great little quick fix. It's a dinosaur that blows bubbles out of its head, a little battery powered bubble machine. It's a relatively simple fix. I've had a quick look at it, taken it apart. Uh, I've got his little legs here on the bench. His head is uh, over there being serviced. <laughs> It's useful to explain how one of these little guys actually works. You have your power supply of a certain number of volts. That powers two things, one motor and one fan. Attached to the motor are a load of little bubble blowing circles like you get on the end of a child's bubble wand. They're arranged in a great big long loop so that they can be dipped into the bubble liquid and come up loaded with the bubble liquid into the area where the fan's blowing and that lets it blow the bubbles. <laughs> There's not a huge amount wrong with it. It just seems that the little switch that comes with it to turn it on and off, one of the contacts of that has corroded away and fallen apart. I'm not entirely sure how, because it's only been used twice and it's a brand new toy as far as I can tell. Who knows? It could have been used before. It could have been tested in some way. Um, it's all full of water normally. So if anyone's tested it or used it before, that's probably why it's corroded. Luckily, the switch type that we've got there is a single throw, double pole switch. Little diagram here. The switch input at the top is always live and then it connects to one of two pins. Now when you press the switch, in will connect to one pin and the switch out will connect to the other pin. So there'll always be a connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap the broken red wire from that connector to that connector. It'll work in reverse. We'll pop the switch out to turn it on uh, rather than popping the switch in to turn it on I think is the uh, way that the toy works in the first place. But hopefully we'll be able to just quickly sort that out and then bubbles will be coming out of this little guy's head and it will be awesome. <laughs> First thing to do is to hook this up to the really safe bench power supply, which is totally safe. Ah! Just barky. I really need to fix that, make it slightly safer, but never mind. Now once I got it attached to the really safe bench power supply, putting five volts into it, because it's a four AA pack, so it's four and a half, five volts will do it. I noticed that the switch was fine. I poked around with the meter, everything seemed fine. Um, and then it was only when I was moving it around to have a look at some of the other electronics to make sure that one of the fans hadn't blown or one of the motors hadn't gone a bit weird, that it suddenly came alive. And, and it was because the little switch pin which had disintegrated inside the switch, there's a, a two, three pins in these switches and one of them has the live attached to it and that had disintegrated inside and wasn't making contact, but that had moved over and touched the negative one, shorting the whole thing out and firing it into life. So that, that was nice and easy to diagnose and all we need to do is switch the wire from that pin to another pin because luckily this is a single pole double throw switch so there's enough redundancy in there for me to quickly fix it without replacing it with another switch from the parts box over there. And there we go, nice and easy, that's all soldered up. It's all sorted. All I need to do is put this little guy back together. I didn't show you taking him apart because he was very simple. Four screws on the body, four screws on the head. I'll stick him back together and we'll have a look and see if any bubbles come out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Success, there we go. That's the first in the quick fix series and we are done nice and quickly, only a few minutes and it's all sorted. Hopefully the fix was actually shorter than this video. I think it only took me two or three minutes to do, so that's very good. As always, you can join our Discord down below. You can support the channel by the Buy Me A Coffee link and there's a couple of perks for Buy Me A Coffee subscribers. I also have an Instagram account now to uh, let everybody know what's going on in the shed when we're not making videos. Uh, things like Nerf mods, <laughs> things breaking, things working, the kind of stuff you can photograph and, and might not make it into a full video so do check that out link to that's in the description as well and we'll see you next time